Welcome to the Horror Hotel. Um, I have been away a lot, but the, it, the videos should be coming out now at a faster pace. And I had a, a review laying about about Midsummer, which we're gonna look at a little bit now. Uh, it should have been out when it was in the cinemas, but since it's getting a Blu-ray release now, why not? So let's get into it. There is a lot to say about a movie like this, and I went into the theater without having seen a single trailer or a teaser like I always do, and in this case I think that elevated my experience. The movie takes place around the Swedish festival of Midsummer or Solar Solstice, and is set in the Swedish county of Helsingland. Four students, one of them from Sweden, goes to Sweden in order to experience the festival since one of them, Josh, played by William Jackson Harper, is about to write his thesis on various variations on the festival and how it is celebrated throughout Northern Europe. Danny, played by Florence Pug, tags along with the group since one of them, Christian, played by Jack Rayner, is her boyfriend. Having a major trauma in her baggage, this trip will forever change her life. By doing that, the writer and the director basically freed up their hands and handled Scandinavian culture with respect while also creating an uncomfortable experience with it. Because that is how I would describe this movie. It's uncomfortable and eerie. More than scary actually, but it's very effective in what it does. All the characters in the movie has a pretty good arc, and I would also argue that the supporting cast does too. They are written in a very human way and feel all believable, and Danny's arc especially is very relatable. There are some other more or less mythical things in the movie that kind of drives home the entire weird Scandinavian narrative, and for the most part it works really well. While Midsummer might not be the type of a horror movie a lot of people are looking for, I think Ari Aster more or less succeeds in what he set out to do. For me personally, I think Midsummer has the perfect mix of horror, discomfort and funny moments in it in order for me to highly recommend it to people. The only thing missing in it is an unreasonable amount of rain, which is the real tradition of Midsummer. Thank you everyone for watching that video, uh, make sure to subscribe and like it if you enjoy the content, otherwise just downvote it, any interaction really is good. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to, but Twitter is the best way to follow me around really. So thank you once again for watching, don't forget to check out my other videos, I'll see you next time.